Greetings everybody, BJ Wilder back with you for day 89 of 100 days of gaming. 12 days to go, 12 days to go before we start our uh, 25 hour gaming marathon session. Raising money for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Trying to be a real life hero for kids here. You can be a real life hero by making a donation. Every single penny of everything that is donated goes to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Goes to making... Uh, saving the kids' lives, making their lives better, all sorts of different stuff. $285 in right now, just $15 away from our uh, next goal of $300. Uh, if we can get just $1 for each of these 100 days of gaming videos, that's $385. We can bump up our goal to $400. Of course, as always, the ultimate goal is $1,000. If we can get that within the next 10 days or so, I will dye my hair purple. Uh, for the marathon, we will definitely be sporting purple hair if we can hit $1,000 raised for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia before I start the marathon. Of course, the ultimate goal, as always anyway, is $1,000 by the end of the year, but uh, purple hair is a little extra added incentive for anyone out there who might be considering donating. Again, donations are tax deductible. Uh, you can donate safely, securely, and anonymously. All the relevant links are down below the description of this video here in the YouTubes. So uh, here we are. We are in Dovetail Games Euro Fishing for day 89, October 22nd, uh, 2017. Um, sort of tooling around a bit uh, before I uh, started recording this video here to um, really hadn't decided what I was going to play today. Uh, so I figured, well, let me pop in here and fool around a little bit because I did, I, I watched a video about how to cast and stuff like, um, how to sort of get a handle on casting, how to set up, you know, some of your, your, uh, game settings and, and computer settings here to help aid in being able to cast here. Um, so I figured, well, let me see, uh, see if I can do some game settings while I'm trying to decide what I'm going to play today. And I noticed as I, uh, was going in here fooling around in the freedom fishing, um, option here, um that there is an auto cast or a basic cast so i said well let me try that see if that uh, see what this is all about and said perfect it casts for you essentially you just got power up your cast um so i said perfect let's uh let's roll with it then so we're gonna do some euro fishing here today um day 89 yes for extra life and for the children's hospital of philadelphia so if you like these simulation games if you like what we're doing if you just want to be a real life hero for kids consider making that donation even one dollar can really make a difference um, to the hospitals and to the kids so uh let's get on with it let's uh do some freedom fishing here with our novice carp angler bj weiler so let's see what we got here. We have the observatory. So this is in Europe. Uh, the lake record is 24 pounds, 16 boss fishes. We have bream, tench, roach, and carp. In the observatory, whether you're new to fishing or a more accomplished ang angler, yeah, we're kind of new to fishing here. The observatory, our mixed introduction lake, lake, offers a great opportunity to catch a large number of fish as well as some good-sized carp, bream, and tench in a tranquil environment away from the pressures of everyday life. La Reine. La Reine is in France. Uh, lake record there is 15 pounds, six types with uh, bream, tench, roach, and carp. The Ren is a popular venue uh, for carp anglers, uh, pleasure fishermen, and match anglers due to its high stock level of all species as well as its relaxing location deep in the French countryside. Oh, Jean Baton. Digger Lake in England. Ooh, record there is 36 pounds, seven bosses, uh, with common carp and mirror carp as the fish types. Snails Lake within the Digger Lakes complex is a five acre specimen lake that features carp only so anglers fishing it will not be disturbed by other species. The lake can only be described as a maze of channels, islands, and bays. There are over 160 fish up to 35 pounds, three of which are over 30 pounds. Uh -huh. St. John's Lake also in England, whoa, 93 pounds there, huh? 30 boss fishes uh, with bream, tench, roach, carp, and catfish. Oh, catfish. I used to do some catfishing. Or um, 
uh, fishing for catfish? Catfishing. I guess it's catfishing. Uh, long, long ago. St. John's Lake at the Linear Complex has proved itself as one of the top day tickets in the UK. The majority of the carp in the water are in excess of 20 pounds in weight, with at least 30 weighing in excess of 30 pounds. There's also a good stock of tench and bream, as well as some huge catfish. Presa del Monto Bravo. In Spain, one, whoa, 151 pounds. Damn, that's a big fish. Uh, 24 bosses with bream, tench, roach, carp, and catfish as well. Presa del Monto Bravo is host to some of angling's greatest challenges. With huge carp upwards of 30 pounds and wells catfish up to 90 pounds, you'll need to ensure your watercraft, tackle, and technique are in tip-top condition in order to land a personal best. Well, I don't think that's me at this point. Uh, so let's um, let's engine digger little and let's just go. Uh, let's just go observatory. So what we got here? We got uh, we're starting at seven day length long. One day equals an hour. Um, so what we're, you know, we're doing half an hour for these videos here, uh, just because it seems half an hour is a pretty good YouTube uh, size time, uh, even though technically we do play game, you know, we do play games longer than that. Technically, 100 days of gaming is one game for one hour every day, and if you really want to challenge, it's a different game, so you're playing 100 different games, which, again, naturally, uh, kind of tough for us to do with our stream schedule and stuff like that. So, uh, trying to do as many different games as possible, but. Uh, yeah, sometimes we'll do, you know, so again, it depends. It seems half half an hour is a good good YouTube length for gameplay sessions. So I think we're going to stick with that, you know, never mind the technicalities. That's the great thing about Extra Life. You know, you're a participant, you can sort of work it however you want to do it. But uh, yeah, we're still doing this challenge here, just trying to promote Extra Life and earn some extra cash here for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Be a real life hero for them kids, huh? So one day equals one hour, random conditions, dynamic wind, default tackle box. Um, yeah, I guess we can't really change that yet. We're not really anywhere near anything. So, um, so three hours, six hours, 12 hours. So that's, that's the equivalent of, uh, one day equals 24 hours. Okay, so that's real time. If we do one day uh, equals 24 hours, that's real time. If we do this, it's uh, we're speeding things up by half. Uh, we do this, we're speeding it up by half again. So that's like three quarters, 75% uh, faster than real time. This is like, I guess, uh, one day, three hours. Um, You say, you know, well, let's see, if we do half an hour, that's, we're like spending half a day fishing. Let's just do three hours. Uh, I guess that sounds good. Three hours sounds good. So let's, um, yeah, that's it. Let's just play. Get here and play. Let's see, let's see if we can catch some fish and hopefully this basic, this basic casting or this auto casting, whatever, whatever it's technically called is, uh, going to be our ticket here. All right, so let's see here. Okay, these are where we're going to teleport in. And our pegs here are where we're fishing from. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. We got a little bridge here. I might... Uh, I think that, that's actually... looks like that's a good place to start there, right there on the bridge. So we'll do that. Teleport here, head right to the bridge, and uh, claim that peg. So I upped the, the graphics things to high here. I initially had them at low when I was live streaming and that kind of stuff. Plus, I think it recommends uh, the video, as I recall, recommended uh, lowering your graphics settings if necessary to get the 30 frames per second, which seems to be good for the casting. Oh, there's our little map, too. Look at that. Edit tackle box, quick travel. Oh, okay. We can. Tr oh, so the map, we can actually quick travel from the map inventory. Q edit tackle box here. Uh, yeah, we ain't got, we ain't got much choice. Um, beginner reel. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much we got, there's, all the rods are the same, so we just got that. Okay, add. Tackle box one, default, oh, we have tackle box one. Uh, okay, we just added the tackle box. Alright, that's alright. Uh, let's head back here. 
no, we don't want to save changes. That's fine. Um, all right, there we go. Uh, so let's... Uh, Let's head on over here and uh, claim our peg. Hmm. Definitely looks sharp, no doubt, fishing peg. When you claim peg, you'll be allowed to fish with three rods at the same time. Well, I can try it. Uh, I think I can. Uh, one is more than enough for me at this point. Fishing license required. Enjoy. And you need an environment agency rod license, and if you're fishing with three rods, you need two licenses. Well, I assume I'm licensed. Ooh, looks like there's something jumping over there. So it's, uh, we actually, we, we have to go over here. All right, so let's see what we got here. Is there anything jumping out over Oh, I saw there's something out there. So it looks like we do have some fish here. Now, the thing is, uh, you know, I, I've only done one simulating reality episode here featuring Euro fishing. Like I said, I had trouble trouble getting the, the, the manual cast down uh, with that. So we didn't really progress too far past that. And I actually haven't done any practicing since then to try to get it done. Um, so hopefully this auto casting will help us out a bit here. But uh, I have no idea how to catch a fish uh, once we get it casted and, and hook one. So this 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 is going to be interesting. So okay, let's uh, let's let's get, let's get our cast out. Ooh, there's one right there. That's right. We're going to go out this way. All right. Oh, yep. Perfect. All right. So there's our power up. So we power up cast, and we don't want to go past the yellow line. We'll stop. Ooh, that was pretty close. There we go. A little bit of a delay there from when I release. It still it still goes up a little bit after I uh, release the mouse button. So it still powers up a bit. So let's. Uh, Let's uh, reel in here just a bit. There we go. We're out there at 14 yards now. 4.8 feet deep. So we're, we're sitting on the silt, which I think... I guess we're okay. It's not telling me anything different. You know what we need? Uh, we need some uh, ambiance here. So let's... Uh, Let's get some tunage playing, shall we? There we go. Oh, 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 hold on. We got something here. Uh, oh, we got something. Oh, did I, do I have him? Oh, I got him. I think I got him. Keep reeling, keep reeling in here. <laughs> did I lose him? I don't know what happened there. I think I lost him. Trying to get my tunage going, I think I lost him. I don't know what the heck happened there. I'm like out of bounds. Okay, let's bring her back here. Where are we at? We're four, wow, we're 40 yards out here. Now let's let's reel her back in here to about 20. 18, we're at 18. That's good. All right. Let me try this now, so I can just uh, make sure our, uh, volume here is fine. All right, so let's, uh, come on. Just bring the volume down just a bit here. There we go. Just a little bit of background ambience. Don't want to scare the fish now, you know what I'm saying? No, I want to scare the fish. All right, so let's get back in game here. All right, we're out there at 17 yards. I, I might I, I might end up having to uh I might have to just reel in and recast here. And there's fish out there, but I don't know if they're biting. So we've been fishing for 15 minutes. We already lost a fish, dang it. All right, so let's, um, there's one right here, but I don't know. I mean, can I cast right in here? I mean, I'm in, sort of in the weeds here. I don't know. 
That's not really an ideal place to throw a line here, you know what I'm saying? Um, hmm. I don't see any activity out there now. I might, uh, we might change locations here in this case. Oh, oh there's something there. All right. All right, so there's still something out there. So let's, uh, let's give this another try. Um, see if we can't get something going here. And release right about now. Go. That's pretty good. So we out there. So we're out there 18 yards. Okay. 17. Is it drifting in? Oh, I forgot to check the rig. That's right. Well, we caught something, so we'll just leave things as is and just wait and see what we got going on here. 16. So it looks like she's drifting in the full from seven. Oh, there's something out there. Come on. Come on, fishies. I know you want something, fishies. Come on. It is drifting in towards us, so I'm going to have to keep reeling in on occasion here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I went the wrong way. Alright, so let's reel in again. Oh, watch the face. Alright, let's, um... Now maybe I should switch to Bloodworm here. So we got white red flakes. Doesn't tell you what's good or what's not. Sink, sink, bait, sink. All right, so this is all right. So our rig is good for silt. We got a waggler twenty. All right, well let's switch to the bloodworm. Let's um, let's do bloodworm here and see if that see if this helps things a little bit here. There's something out there, so we're going to have to cast pretty far. Right. Yeah, this way. So let's uh, see how close to this power up we can do here. There we go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. And remember, there's a little bit of a delay here. So let's see how far. We're 21 yards out in the gravel bed. Okay. Sweet. Let's see if we can't get something here. Yeah, see, she is drifting in a little bit here. Now, I'm afraid to reel in and that I just end up reeling in too, too much here. Oh. oh, I think something's hitting. Oh, here we go. So I'll keep reeling in here. Oh, this 52. This thing took me 52 yards out. There we go. I think that's a little buggy there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Come on. We'll get this boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Ooh, yeah, look at him go. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. Come on. We can get you. Come on. He's reeling in here. Come on. You got you. Where are you? Oh, you're, you're in the weeds now. Dang it. Oh, catch, catch, catch. E. Catch. Catch. E. Did I catch him? Oh, yep, yeah, we got the net. All right, we got our net out. I think we caught something. Ooh, look at that beauty. That's not a bad looking fish there. So what do we got here? Uh, we caught the common carp. 11 pounds, one ounce, not bad. Oh wow, look at that, we got 30 experience for that. 131 TP to 131 toilet papers? Uh, I don't know. I think that's the in-game stuff where we can, uh, the in-game currency that we can use to buy, uh, upgrade our equipment and stuff. So good, not bad, all right, look at that. Sweet, we call ourselves a little fishy. Common carp there. All right. Nice. 11 pounds. What was the record? 24 pounds, I think it said, for the observatory. So that's actually not too bad there. I mean, that's uh, a little less than half the half the record weight here. 
All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> trying to think, do I, uh, I hear the fish jumping over on that side. You know what, maybe we should head over there then. Let me try heading over on that side. Okay, let's, um, oh, we don't have, oh, okay, we don't have a plane for this anymore. All right, cool. Let's, um, let's go check the map here. Yeah. You know, well, you know what? Let's just walk. Let's just walk to see if we can find another peg. Let's head down this way. I definitely heard things splash, splishing and splashing. So that had that had to be behind us here. Keep an eye on the lake here as we're, uh, oop, we're running into a tree. Oh, was that something there? No, it's not just something there. Can't cast off from here. Oh, it looks like. That, peg, that might be a peg over there. I think there's one right Yeah, that's one there. Oh, there's one right here, too. Uh, but you know what? I, um... I should have gone across, because I, I don't want to... I don't want our bait drifting towards us. I just gotta watch. If I'm going onto the sides here... If I go here, I can do a long cast. Let me go to the other side. Other side here. Jambo 28, huh? That license required, of course. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. There's some map right, so I think there's one. What was it? That's a little further down here. There it is. Let's clean this one, see if we can't get something. There you are. Let's see if we can have it drift further away from us here. Alright, so let's take a, let's let's take a gander here. You know, we don't have weeds down here either, so that's nice. Oh, look at that, there's something right there. Drop my line right there. Yeah, you know, so let's give it a shot here. Let's claim the sky. Oh, those are rods two and three. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's um, um, let's just cast here. Oops, we're gonna cast right here, so it's, we're just gonna do a little short cast here. And we're going too far. There we go. So where are we at? Four yards out, right here. All right. See, there's something right here. Oh, no, I just took it out of the water. Come on. Five feet deep here, just a little bit deeper, too. Might help. Come on. Something was hitting us earlier. Come on. I scared them off when I took it out of the water by accident. There's no drift enough here, so it's staying at five yard distance here. Dang it, alright, let's reel in. Alright, um. side near the weeds. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. I got a little pack. Yeah, I don't know how cute is that. Alright, well, let's see if we can't, uh... Alright, let's, uh... Let's cast something out in the middle here. Okay, let's go, like, right about there. So we don't want to go too far with it, so let's go right about there. We go six yards out, alright. Alright, let's put that rod down. Let's pick up rod two. So, uh, we'll cast rod two out this way. That's one. Might as well do three rods then. So let's go this way. Power up here a little bit more. There we go. If you can't get near those beams out there, let's see. So we're 14 yards out there. Alright, we're in good space. Right, so let's put that rod down. Pick up rod three. We'll cast rod three out this direction here. Yards out there, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, put rod down, tab, uh, rod two. All right, let's, there we go. Let's reel them in. Let's reel them in. Reel them in. Come on, come on. Reel them in. Reel them in. Come on. Reel them in. Oh, I got another bite somewhere. Oh my god, I got another bite. Oh, let's catch him. <laughs> I can't. Oh, the tiny guy there. Okay. I think you're. That's a roach. He can't. All right, let's get rid of him and uh, let's. Uh... Oops, tab. Let's go one. Tab. Tab. Let's go this guy. Reel them in. Let's reel them in. Reel them in. Come on, reel them in. Reel them in. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with one rod from now on. Reel them in. Reel them in. Come on, reel them in. Keep reeling. Can, when can I catch him? Can okay, I hit the... Oh, did I lose him? Son of a gun. I lost him. Gosh darned it. All right, let's uh, let's pick this guy up here. We'll stick with three here. We we'll lost that one. Now let's just reel it in. We'll, we'll just stick with one here. Selection. Let's go with rod one or blood worm. We'll stick with the one we got the blood worm on here. Okay, um. Now it was, it looked like there was something. I think that's the water out there. It may or may not be a fish, but alright, let's uh. One was the one that was right here too. He's nice and close. Oh, yep, look at that. There's something out there. Right, let's see if we can hit that spot. There we go, that should be pretty good. Okay. Now we're not going to put the rod down, we're going to hold on to it. You know, that looks like a good there. Uh, let's see, so we caught an 11 pound carp and a 2 pound roach so far. Nice. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we're in uh, the bedrock or whatever it's called. Yeah, all right, well, 14 yards out. Go up here. All right, I gotta pull back to bring the rod up. Come on, fishy. You know you want the blood worm, fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. One more fish here. One more fish here, and we can call our day done, huh? 10 o'clock.
clock already, come on. Just like fishing in real life. <laughs> I don't see any other activity you might. Oh, there's something off there to the left. I might not be far enough out here. Ah, it requires some patience. Ooh, okay, we got something. Oh, there we go. We got him. 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 Come on. Reel in here. Reel in here. Come on. Come on. Oh, catch. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Let's catch him. Let's see what we got here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a baby. over a pound, pound and a half roach there but we got something we got something there that's not too bad that eh, wasn't too shabby we caught three fish more than i actually expected when i started this episode so that worked that worked out rather well excellent all right so good three fish in the in the uh in the tank here nice So I think, yeah, all right, good. I was, I was kind of worried about whether I'd be able to do more episodes here of uh, Eurofishing, but with the autocast, I think we're doing good here. We uh, So we're on the fly here. We sort of figured things out. I think we're good. But anyway, yes, what we're really here for, Extra Life. Being real life heroes for kids, helping save kids' lives. Again, hey, if somebody would, you know, hey, donate uh, a dollar per fish, I called for this episode. If you want to donate a dollar per fish, that would be awesome. Three bucks. That'd be great. Awesome sauce. Sure, making donation please. It's, again, it, I don't get any of this. Extra Life doesn't get any of this. Every single penny goes to helping the kids of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. In fact, I just saw a news report uh, this afternoon about Aaron and Abby, uh, the conjoined twins who were joined at the head, uh, who received uh, their separation surgery right here at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia back in June. Doing well. They are doing well. And it looks like they might be uh, they might be going home soon, which is uh, pretty good stuff. Um, they will need uh, further surgeries, cosmetic surgeries, and that kind of stuff. But uh, but from all uh, sounds of things, they are 15 months old now, and from uh, from all uh, for all intents and purposes, I guess they are 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 very healthy, and uh, they have spent their entire the entire 15 months of their lives so far in a hospital. So. I think everybody's looking forward to getting finally getting out of the hospital in the next. Uh, I think I think it was a week or two, um, if that, uh, they'll be getting out of the hospital. But uh, yeah, it, it's all because of money donated through the Children's Miracle Network and Extra Life here. That uh, something like that, um, you know, the lives of Aaron and Abby um, are going to be a lot better. They can lead normal lives now. Um, thanks to the money we raise here at Extra Life and through the Children's Miracle Network. So consider making that donation, you know, a dollar per fisher or even just a dollar for this video. doesn't matter. It all adds up in the end. It's all very, very important. It all goes to helping the kids. So um, great stuff there. And uh, so until tomorrow, day 90, it'll be three months tomorrow that uh, we've been uh, running through 100 days of gaming here. And that just means there'll only be 10 more days, 10 more videos to go. And then... Uh, next day we're popping right into our uh, extra life marathon 25 hours of gaming so awesome stuff thanks for watching everybody this is bj waller saying until next time i will see you <laughs>